This is Mr. Gamble. It's Friday the 8th of January and today we're going to concentrate on a race at Dundalk. And the race is the 6 o'clock, which is a maiden race. Now, um, a lot of people will think it's absolutely crazy to be having a bet in a 17-runner maiden, um, but actually it's not. Now, our tip uh, should run to a rating of 85-plus today. Um, in his last race, he looked really green, um, but when the penny finally dropped late on in the last furlong, um, he stayed on fast and late. Um, and that was going past some horses um, which are running in the mid-70s. Um, he certainly didn't look like uh, having the experience that he now has, that he would that be far behind the winner, um, and the winner's now rated around 85. Um, so when you then consider that 11 of the horses out of the 17 are having their very first run, um, so it's highly unlikely that unless there's a superstar in there, um, they're going to run to more than 85. Um, and of those that have run, um, there's nothing in there that looks like it will run to anywhere near uh, 85. So although there's 17 runners, um, a lot of them is over... Uh, uh, are unexposed um, with a rating of 85 plus to play with which this horse should run up to today um, it actually looks like a pretty good bet now when we add into that as well the fact that this trainer and jockey combination um, if you click on trainer and jockey stats you will see that at Dundalk in the winter in three-year-old maidens um, they've won uh, five races from ten runners. Now that 50% strike rate is phenomenal in itself um, but when you consider that when those horses are five to two or lower in price um, their actual statistics are four winners from four runners um, it, uh, it shows you that it's actually things that they didn't even think had a chance that they're not winning with um, and if they think it's, it's something good then um, it's very very likely to win. So uh, on the surface of things it might seem like a bet, uh, race not to bet in, um, but uh, overall around sort of 10 to 11 um, for uh, this horse uh, looks like a very, very good bet. Now, there's no certainties, um, but um, this is one that we'll stay on the right side of.